Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I will solve ISRO production part 5. The question is cylindrical parts are held on planner by on planner A B blocks and arrestors B angle plates C B block T bolts and clamps D T bolt and clamps cylindrical parts means it should be B block so B and D not possible so C is the answer arrestor also not required B block T bolts T bolts and clamps that is enough next expressing a dimension as 25.3 plus or minus 0 0.05 mm in the case of a unilateral tolerance b bilateral tolerance c limiting dimensions d all of the above it's bilateral tolerance because in bilateral tolerance we will get both plus and minus 0 0.05 If it is the case of unilateral tolerance, this person will get only plus plus or, or plus and zero, zero per plus minus minus like this. Only one side you will get. For example, I'll give you 25.3 plus plus 0 0.05, 0 0.03. Here, 25.3 plus 0 0.00 plus like this we will get if it is the case of minus then twenty five point three minus zero point zero five minus zero point zero three like that or one can minus you can write minus these are the case of unilateral tolerance Tungsten in high speed steel provides a hot hardness, B toughness, C wear resistance, D sharp cutting edge. Answer is hot hardness. Hot hardness it means it can retain retain hardness at elevated temperature. By addition of tungsten in high speed steel, we can get hot hardness. Next, which of the following regions of the electromagnetic spectrum would be used to determine the structure of crystalline solids? A microwave, B infrared, C X ray, D visible. Answer is X ray. Fluidity in casting operation is greatly influenced by a melting temperature of molten metal, B pouring temperature of molten metal, C finish of the mold, D carbon content of molten metal. Its answer is B. Two important things I will tell you. Two defects. Casting defect, 
मिश्रण एंड एयर कोल्ड शर्ट मिश्रण फिगर है Here, this is the pattern. We are adding material and pouring material inside it. Here, the molten metal. It can't reach up to the last point. This area or gap in there. It is unable to reach the last end. This type of defect we are calling as miss run. In case of cold shot, मोल्टेन मेटल आफ्टर सलिडिफिकेशन इन दिस पर्सन दे आर अनेबल टू फ्यूज प्रॉपरली दिस टाइप ऑफ डिफेक्ट आई एम कॉलिंग एज कोल्ड सेट Both मिश्रण and cold shot विजर happens due to lack of fluidity. Or improper pouring temperature. Low pouring temperature. Here also. For cold shots also both are here. lack of fluidity and low pouring temperature. Mishran definition is casting that solidify that solidify before. completely filling the mold cavity here in this portion gap is there material solidified before filling this gap this is called as mesra and in case of cold shot when Two percent of the metal flow together. Here, one percent. This side, second. They flow together, but there is. There is a lack of fusion between them. Here, 
in this area. In this area, lack of fusion is between two layers, one and two. Both layers they are unable to fuse properly. So this defect is called as cold cold shot. Both are important in all exams, IES and Coal India, SSC, ISRO, all exams on casting defect, misrun and cold shot due to lack of fluidity and low pouring temperature. Cold shot also lack of fluidity and low pouring temperature. Next, precipitation hardening is applicable for a pure aluminum B low carbon steel C non metal D aluminum copper alloys. This question already discussed in my previous video. You can see my video. Repeated question precipitation hardening for non ferrous alloys. Non ferrous alloys. Here the answer is aluminum and copper alloys. Match list 1 and 2 using code given below. A car dashboard, B aircraft window, C conduit pipes, D bearings and gears, 1 polyvinyl chloride PVC, 2 Teflon, 3 polyacrylate nitrile. 4. Polymethyl methacrylate. All are thermoplastics. All four are thermoplastics. These are made by additional polymerization. One more, this one also important. Thermoplastics made by additional polymerization. And other one is thermosetting plastic. They are made by condensation polymerization both are important here polyvinyl chloride is pvc teflon in short it is pt fe polyacra nitrile it's pan and polymethyl methacrylate it's pmm here car dashboard car dashboard they are made of PN very good oil and grease resistance then Aircraft hinges, both PN and PMMA acrylates. Aircraft hinges, these are made up of PMMA. And your conduit pipes, we know, PVC pipes, bearings and gears. Teflon coating we are giving. Bearings and gear we are giving. Teflon coating for better wear resistance. PT, it is also called as PTFE. So car dashboard is PAN 3, aircraft windows B4, conduit pipes 1, D. Teflon two three four one two. If you don't know all things, na, only conduit pipes in our household we are using conduit pipes, PVC pipes. Only C is one. The other option you can simply omit. If you know one thing also, you can. Answer this. So B is the answer. Three, four, one, two. 
Sometimes they are asking aircraft windows. Only they will ask made up of which materials? It's acrylates. It's thermoplastic. Dislocation in materials are a point defect, B surface defect, C planar defect, D line defect. Dislocation is line defect. Two dislocations are important. Edge dislocation and screw dislocation. Screw dislocation. In material sense, this is very very important. In edge dislocation, burger vector is here. You give one dollar symbol and make it parallel. Edge dislocation, you give perpendicular. This is very very important, so you should not forget this. In edge dislocation, burger vector, burger vector, or slip vector is perpendicular. Edge dislocation line or edge dislocation line to the dislocation line. But in this case, in the case of screw dislocation, burger vector for any exam, this is very very important. Burger vector or slip vector is. Parallel to the dislocation line. Both are very very important. Sometimes they won't mention mention burger vector. Simply they will ask slip vector is perpendicular in dash like that they will ask. So dislocation is. This is very very important. Five star for all exams. Any exams you can take. Cell, Coal India, SSC, and Gate also. This is very very important. IES. Next question. Which of the following thermocouple is capable of measuring highest temperature? A chromium aluminium. B platinum rhodium, C iridium rhodium, D iron and constantin. Here I'll give you one chart. Platinum rhodium and your chromium alumnium. Iridium, rhodium, then your iron and constant temperature range I will give you. In case of platinum rhodium, we can measure up to eighteen hundred degrees Celsius. And chrome and aluminum minus 200 degrees Celsius to 1300 degrees Celsius. But in case of rhodium and irid, uh, rhodium and iridium, 
we can go up to 2000 degree celsius and in case of iron and constantan minus 40 degree celsius to 750 degree celsius so maximum is iridium and rhodium our answer is c in many books they wrote b platinum and rhodium but platinum and rhodium we can go up to 1800 degree celsius but in case of iridium and rhodium we can measure up to 2000 degree celsius so answer is c thank you friends for watching my video if you like my video then subscribe it